We are here at the dog beach. This is the Coronado Dog Beach. Everything she does is we can't stand. Look at these other dogs. This other dog's just staring at her like, idiot, what are you doing that for? And she's just happy as a clam doing it. Waving, rubbing. Oh yeah, more sand, more sand, more sand, more sand. Oh, I love the sand. CZ, what are you doing? You got sand up your nose. Apparently not enough sand up the nose. Every time we go to the beach, she does this. All the sand. Yeah, other dogs just do not even know what to think of it. They think it's the dumbest thing they've ever seen. Cece, come here. Hi. You are just covered in sand, silly. Covered. Are you? Oh, come here. Cece, come here. Come here. Let me, let me see this face. Oh my goodness, just face. <laughs> oh, are you proud of yourself? beautiful little Italy, San Diego. Me and John just went out for dinner. Um, we ended up kind of having an impromptu date night. We went out to rent some errands. He needed to find an outfit or more so just a shirt to, to wear to a wedding that we're going to this weekend. And that was a failure. <laughs> but we did succeed in wandering around Fashion Valley Mall for a very, very long time. It started to feel like a Valley of the Kings, more like we were going to be entombed there, like it was never gonna happen. So we gave up, got a little hangry, and headed over to a Little Italy neighborhood near downtown San Diego, right next to the airport actually, if anyone's ever flown into San Diego and they don't know where Little Italy is, it's right next to the airport. We went to a place called El Camino, which is kind of a Mexican lounge. It's really, really cool. They usually have live DJ sets, excellent food, really, really good cocktails. Um, decent prices too, like I'd say the average plate is like $13 on the very high side and probably like 7 on the low side. So it really doesn't cost you any more than a chain place, but you get way better quality and just a better experience. It's a lot of fun. You kind of have to wait sometimes for a table. We ended up waiting for 15 minutes, but we were able to wait at the bar and get started on some margaritas. And the cool thing about Little Italy is that it's got this really great um, sort of Quentin Tarantino-esque ambiance inside of it. It's like really kind of rough around the edges inside, but in, not in like a shady way or in a divey way. Um, it's like completely new, but it, uh, it just has a lot of personality, a lot of character. So I recommend that if you like Mexican food. Um, and I will show you guys some clips of our dinner. 
airport as I mentioned before but you can actually see the airplanes landing and when I say see the airplanes landing I mean like it feels like you can like reach out and like touch it with your hands they're so close to you so that's really really cool because you'll be eating your dinner and it's kind of insulated in this courtyard you won't even realize it until it's right on top of you <laughs> 